Dave here, how are you? It's been a little while since I've done a tip on using a CNC machine, but there's this thing called an air pass. Now what I'm doing is I'm just squaring, recalibrating my machine and it's something you need to do every now and then. And what I've got is I'm setting the Z axis about 20 millimeters above the height that I want. So I'm going to get this machine to do a rectangle and put a drill hole in each corner of the rectangle so then I can just check that I'm perfectly diagonal. The distances on the diagonals are perfect, I should say. Now I'm not going to turn the variable frequency drive on, which means I'm not going to turn the actual spindle on to spin. This is just going to do an air pass and go down in the spots so I know exactly where it's going to happen. So you see the Z is 20 millimeters above at the moment. So if I take it down to uh, zero, so it thinks it's actually touching the job now. So I don't want it to because it might run into things. Now I can just go over, click cycle start, and up it goes, and it's going to go and do some stuff in the air. That's the first drill. It's going to go down the other end. Do a drill there so there's nothing in the way. There's no screws or bolts holding the spoil board down. Can do a drill hole there and it's going to come back to me here. Now these holes are the, exactly the diameter of the bit, which is a quarter inch bit or cutter and the return back to home. So now what I do is I will actually lower it down to the z-axis being on the top of the spoil board and turn the spindle on as what the variable frequency drive to run the spindle and I will let it go and do those four drill holes in the bed. I'll actually put a quarter inch cutter in the far two and I'll measure back from the outside from the um, from the arc is it from the from the circumference area and back to the edge of the hole that's down here and then I can dial in perfectly on these guys down here. It's a bit of fun, but rather than run the risk of running into something, I'm only going seven millimeters deep, but rather than run the risk of going into a bolt that's holding the spoil board down, this is a much safer way. Remember, set your Z axis above where you want to be. Now, if the height above, it's totally up to you. I'm going 20 millimeters above the board, and I should be good. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, keep on coming, but tell your friends, see you later.